Germany held national elections this weekend. Early projections show Angela Merkel has secured her fourth term as chancellor. But in the midst of a refugee crisis and the rise of far-right nationalism, Germany is a much different country than when she first took office. Jonathan Vigliotti has more on this from our London bureau. German Chancellor Angela Merkel clenched an historic fourth term, but it is a bittersweet victory. Despite her double-digit lead over her nearest rival, Europe's most powerful leader lost some ground to Germany's far-right anti-immigrant, anti-Islam group, Alternative for Germany. The polarizing party, dubbed the real Nazis by opponents, followed Merkel wherever she went, blowing whistles and booing her. They argued Merkel broke the law by admitting over one million refugees into the country. Their controversial campaign posters included a pregnant woman with the words, New Germans will make our own. In, der Flüchtlingskrise. In the end, this polarizing campaign gained around 13 percent of the vote, making Alternative for Germany the first far-right group to earn parliamentary seats since 1957. Ultimately, Merkel's message resonated, but these extreme voices will now be seated next to her for four years. In her victory speech, Merkel acknowledged the far right and their supporters, saying her goal is to now understand their concerns and regain their trust. Meanwhile, a spokesperson with Alternative for Germany vowed to hunt down Merkel's party and take back the country. Elaine. Jonathan, thanks.